know, amongst studying a lot, learning a lot, I'm also going to be a published author soon. I'm going to release my study on the mechanisms of trash talk. You want to talk about the science of trash talk? I studied it. My, my, uh, my co my co-author, Professor Niffin, at school, just gave a talk in Utah about it at a sports conference. Evolutionary mechanisms and the effects of trash talk, what it does to a person's confidence levels, cohesion in a group. Why do we trash talk? What do we talk about? Women and men, do they talk about different things? It's crazy, and like this is stuff that I'm working on. I do whatever my heart's in, and I encourage you to do the same. You, you do your, I know you care about wrestling, yeah. yes? Okay, yeah. that's why you do this. That's why you're yeah. here on a Tuesday, yeah. right? Not because you're, need to pay your rent, bro. Like, yeah, it's nice that it pays your rent. You know, like someone said, make your hobby your profession, you know, what you care about. And like, you know, no insult to specific greats, you guys who are great at wrestling. There's a surface selfishness that's, I guess people think you have to have to be great. But let me tell you something. People are gonna forget what you said. They'll forget this, you know, eventually. They'll remember one or two quotes, but they'll forget what you said. And to some extent, Four national titles. Was it four or five? Or was it four or five world titles? Did you win bronze? No, I don't. I don't remember. Okay, they even forget what you did to some extent. People will. People will never ever forget, ever, how you make them feel, ever. And that is the most real thing, and I live my life by that. When I come into my room, I make it my job to not meet these kids' levels of energy, enthusiasm, love, and passion. It's to transcend it. I come in here, music blaring, loud socks, ready to dab when I'm just showing a, a two-on-one or a Peterson. That's how I live my life, 100%, all the time. With my friends, my family, same people usually, and whoever I'm around, bro. Forget this live small, small talk. Talk to me about your dreams, your worries, your anxieties. Your, like, I'm that kind of person. So if you see me, don't feel weird coming up to me. People hit me up on Snapchat, Instagram, power guys. Like, yo, this is so weird. I just need advice. Why is that weird? Don't think that's weird. Please hit me up. Hit me up. I green, promise green you. Green toe palacio? Green toe palacio. I won't say that? why am I. Why is it green toe palacio? Uh, I can't disclose why, but uh, you'll find out, you know, watching my stories. Like, please hit me up. And if you want a clinic, please hit me up. Like, I'm charge. I'm really charge. Like it's really how much you want to pay me. Like people hit me like, all right, you know, how much you want? To pay? All right, how much you want? Let's negotiate. I'm like, all right, how much you want to pay me? I'm like, all right, you're available yeah. all summer. Yeah. Not it's, next week. You're going to. I'm Michigan. literally living in my car right now. I was just in Ohio. Book, did a few clinics. Did it. Going to Michigan next week. Going to go to Michigan next week. You know, concussion awareness. And then I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm just living life. Might go home right now. Might not. Might go see this girl. She's cool. All right. So you got anything else for me? Just live your life, man. Like. Like I said, YOLO? Like, I won't say YOLO because you only live once, but if you live once correctly, it's enough. So like, yes, I know, I know what it is. I know I'm, I'm, I'm in a good place, man. I'm just, I'm excited about the future. And, and how can't you be when you have such good people around you? And you don't, you, you're not trapped in a box by outcomes. That's hey, all I'm saying. Thanks for the time, safe travels. 27 minutes and 52 seconds of, of madness that I love. Whoa.